But uh, how can people actually test their blue blockers? How can I've, I've I've heard about there's different you know websites where people can test whether or not they, their glasses are actually filtering out you know the right frequencies. Yeah, absolutely. There's, there's a few ways you can do it. So um, your, your best bet is to just a really easy test rather than jumping on any website is just get your red or get your amber or whatever nighttime blue blockers you have um, and stick them on. And if you're seeing any blue through them, um, then that's, that's a major issue. So with blue blocks, when you look at blue, um, blue colors through our red lenses through, through these, um, they will appear either black or a dark green or just a very sort of dark color. Um, and what you'll find is when you look through ones that aren't um, as red and maybe orange, you'll then see that, you know, some of the blue is still there, maybe some of the lighter blues. Um, you'll also see that um, some, of the, some of the greens, you know, all the green is basically still there. Um, and there are some websites out there, and I can link it um, to, to, to your viewers as well, where there's some circles, so different circles, and then in the middle is a specific sort of, um, pattern of, of blue slash green light and it has to completely eradicate that that circle um, there's also one where if you google um, uh, testing blue blocker glasses um, I believe that there's a, two strips um, so you've got a sh one strip um, and then underneath another strip and they've all got the same colors so they start blue different shades of blue different shades of green different shades of yellows ambers and so on through the spectrum and there's a disruption zone um, in one of them where um, basically the, the top one has all the colors in. The one underneath um, is basically all, all black, um, all one color. So when you put your glasses on, both of the um, strips need to appear identical for your blue blockers to work. But what you'll find is when you put the amber glasses on, um, you'll, you'll have a small bit sort of that you need to be blocking but the amber glasses are sort of only blocking up to there and letting that in. Whereas the blue blocks are blocking sort of all the way, all the way across. Um, so yeah, you, you really need to be tested them out. If you're seeing any blue through your red glasses, then you've got a, you've got a major problem. Um, and then the green um, is, I, I have a really good test for green and I posted it on our, um, uh, on our Facebook page is obviously I said, I like to watch a lot of football, a lot of soccer. Um, and the color of, of, of the grass is green. So put on your blue block of glasses, and if that pitch is still green and looks like it's been watered and it's amazing, then your blue blockers aren't working. If you put on blue blocks and you're looking at, say, Wembley Stadium or the pitch at Old Trafford or somewhere like that, which is without the blue block of glasses, is a lush green, the groundsmen have kept it amazing, it's like really, really vibrant. You put your blue block of glasses on, these red ones, and it's honestly, it's like it hasn't been watered in about sort of three months and it's all brown. So um, that's also a good test as well is go and find a football game, switch on the telly, put your red glasses on. Um, and if that pitch is still green, then your, your glasses aren't working. But if uh, the pitch looks like it's dry and they haven't had any, any rain for three months, then uh, you know they're working. Hmm. In the morning, um, you see the sunlight, that clock is entrained and it starts a cascade of hormone release throughout the day which keeps you really optimal, keeps you in good shape, keeps you feeling sort of mentally well as, as well. You're gonna sort of start off by feeling maybe a little bit groggy in the mornings, maybe you'll be more of an evening person, you'll start to slump during the day and just not feel great. And over time that will lead to, you know, that sort of leptin insulin resistance that, that we were talking about sort of around that, that brain area. And then you're gonna develop things like an Alzheimer's, like a dementia. A lot of people think, oh, it's just, just to manage sleep, but it's actually, it goes a little bit more deeper than that. And it goes into metabolism, it goes into insulin resistance. And, you know, you've got to think about light as, as the key sort of master governor of, of hormones as well. Body, mind, empowerment. Get stronger, faster, smarter, quicker, friendlier, more helpful, more driven. Everything the body needs. Control your mind.